Music making in FL Studio using Reason's powerful collection of instruments, audio effects, and player MIDI effects has never been easier thanks to the Reason Rack plugin. So let's take a quick look today at how to get started using the Reason Rack in FL Studio to bring your favorite workflow and creative tools together in one music making environment. In FL Studio, the first thing you'll want to do is make sure you've scanned for plugins since installing Reason. Go to the Options menu to select Manage Plugins. Just to be thorough, we'll click Rescan Previously Verified Plugins and then click the Find More Plugins button to run the scan. Once the scan is complete, you'll see the Reason Rack plugin listed among the other VST plugins and native FL Studio plugins. To make a new track in FL Studio Sequencer, we can click the plus button in the Channel Rack window. Below are FL Studio's own included instruments and effects, but to access the Reason Rack, just like any other third-party VST plugin, we click on More Plugins to open the Plugin Manager window and double-click the Reason Rack plugin to bring it up. The Reason Rack appears, and we've got a blank rack to play with. We can either choose one of the instrument shortcuts by double-clicking them, or we can open up the browser section to load any of the instruments in Reason. Let's load Oomph Club Drums. And right away, we've got samples ready to go. But let's also get into the modular world of the Reason Rack by adding a player MIDI effect above our Oomph drum machine. Beatmap generates drum patterns that you can control and is the fastest way to get great beats going. I can also drag audio effects beneath the Oomph Club Drums instrument to process its audio output. Let's bring in a Scream 4 distortion to dirty these drums up more, and a Master Bus Compressor to add punch. This is, quite simply, the playful nature of the Reason Rack. Devices can be combined and layered to form any custom sound you can dream up. If I wanted to, I could make another Reason Rack plugin instrument in FL Studio's channel mixer. This time, let's make a monotone bass synthesizer. And let's thicken the sound up even more with some quartet chorus ensemble. And from here, we're off and running wherever our creativity and the Reason Rack might take us. Now, if you already know and rely on FL Studio's unique production workflow, you're probably already getting some ideas for how the Reason Rack will fit in perfectly. Definitely experiment. Getting great sounds can be as simple as what we've done today, or it can be as deep as your imagination will go. And that part is up to you. <laughs>